Hi, this is Money from BSE2NSE.com. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, understanding Nifty intraday levels to trade with, and this is based on uh, the day open value for Nifty, and then some Fibonacci levels, assuming that Nifty will move uh, maximum one percent upside or downside uh, from the opening value. So what we all we have to do when you're using the Excel sheet eventually is to just fill up the day's open price here. You can either put in spot value or the future value. So whichever you want to track generally for trading. And then once you enter it, these values will automatically get recalculated. So if I put zero here, everything will become zero because the formulas are already set in the Excel sheet. And if I set today's uh, day open price, uh, today's day open price you can see here is 7355.70 okay so I'm gonna put that uh, 7355.70 and then you automatically get these values if you look deeper into the uh, buy above zone what it says is uh, it assumes that we will maximum get 1% movement and it's basically calculating the 23.6% Fibonacci ratio and it adds to the open price so if we cross the 23 percent uh, or 23.6 uh, percent Fibonacci value for uh, 1 percent movement if we if we go above it then uh, the buy call triggers and then the first target is um, 38.2 percent and then 61.8 percent and then 88.6 percent and then uh, 1 percent movement so this is assuming that nifty will only move one percent uh, upside or downside from the open value and again mostly nifty will normally move only in that zone only occasionally very rarely you will find nifty moving from opening price uh, it will move by more than one percent so the chances of that is less but of course the excel sheet uh, mostly only focuses on the one percent movement and similarly on the sell side it, it is just the inverse below the open price it will assume that the last target target 4 basically what it does is it calculates 1% away from the opening value and that is the target 4 and to trigger the sell uh, call it assumes that uh, you have to cross the 23.6% Fibonacci ratio so basically you just need to follow this and do this blindly and uh, uh, share with me the results that you get I think uh, th uh, this excel sheet I must say that um, uh, started in our uh, trading group um, because of a trader named Om Swaroop and I'll be uh, giving credits to him in this video uh, uh, using the YouTube feature to give credits and uh, by the way like I said uh, at the top it says nifty fund levels 1 SD 1 SD means 1% standard deviation uh, again based on Fibonacci levels and I'll show you how it almost worked today perfectly today's uh, spot price open price was 7355.7 and the buy above price was 7373 and the fourth target was 7429 third target was 7421 second target was 7401 you can see that all targets got hit today intraday and you can see here uh, and you have to apply this um, try and uh, uh, put in these values by 930 you can put in the open price post 930 you use these triggers uh, for buy and sell not before 930 after 930 however nifty swings use these uh, uh, levels to initiate buy or sell uh, and then wait for the targets 1 2 and 3 once you are in the profit zone you can push stop loss into the profit zone and let the stop loss decide uh, uh, where to book profits so again you can see here that today it uh, it initially crossed 7400 pretty easily the target one but at the target two uh, 7420 it struggled twice between 1230 to around 1230 and then the day high if you see it was just four points above the fourth target which was uh, the day high was 7433 and uh, sellers was con sellers were constantly pushing it as soon as uh, the target 7429 was hit in the spot price you can see that the day high was only four points above uh, this target 
and I think uh, the accuracy is pretty decent and um, it's a much better way to trade rather than trading blindly so I thought I'll share this and I just got this excel sheet today and I found this immediately very useful for me personally I use it in a way that I don't use it all the time in intraday and again I would suggest not to trade based on this all the time choose uh, days to trade um, and then I personally use it to time my positional entry for example I follow uh, Nifty Heikanashi for uh, entering into positional call option or put option so based on these levels and how Nifty moves intraday I decide when is the best time for me to enter into a put option or a call option so that's how I use it and if anyone wants this uh, excel sheet just drop me an email at rmoney84 at the rate gmail.com I'll send it to you and um, I'll put up these formulas uh, for the cells uh, for target 1, buy about target, uh, target 1, target 2, target 3. I'll try and put these in the comments of the video so that you can replicate um, uh, the Excel sheet uh, on your own. And that's it for now. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay in touch. Um, if you want to join our trading group, uh, go to bsc2nse.com and there's a link on the website to join our trading group. That's it for now. Thank you. Bye-bye.